Hello, my friends, and welcome back to our playing Let's Play Doki Doki Literature Club for the PS5. My name is Fuzzbur, this is your StoryBeats Gaming Channel, and today uh, we're going to finish up Yuri's storyline here. Uh, but first, I got another mail from Rhea Vort called Side Stories. Thank you to everyone who worked so hard for the control on the control simulation. I can't imagine how tedious it must have been, so delicately hide Monica's elevated permissions from her without disrupting her connections to the VM. Just to clarify, all the recordings leaving side stories are part of the control simulation, right? I'm noticing some details of the characters' lives here and there that differ a little bit from those in VM1, even trivial ones. Is it part of the butterfly effect from some of Monica's more fundamental changes, or was it a result of her just messing around with other characters in VM1 as her own experiment or for fun? So, if I'm keeping track, we have what, like five different universes in total? With three or four of them created and then destroyed by Monica, of course. It's funny because I keep wanting to speculate on which one is a real universe, but in reality, they all are. Well, as real as ours is anyway. System Administrator. So this is... Don't really have any clues except the name. Uh, but yeah, uh, don't really understand that because we haven't done the side stories just yet. Oh my gosh, there's a lot. There's three, four, five, six. So there's one with, oh, and then there's parts as well. Yeah, there's a whole lot left in this game that we still have. To get all six side stories, try running poems to different characters and viewing the special scenes of DDLC. Yeah, so it looks like we have unlocked all six now. But, you know, with that said, we're going to uh, continue on with the uh, Yuri story first and I don't know how long this episode's gonna last because. Wait, what just happened? Uh, what just happened? Wait, what just happened? My saved data. My saved data is gone. How did my saved data disappear? Did I not save? I thought I did. I'm almost positive I did. Last time I played. Last time I played was June 6th. So yeah, th this should be. This should be where we're at, but I thought we were, I thought we were on the, um, on the date portion. So what just happened here? Hmm. I I'm kind of curious if I should just completely restart because if I completely restart, then there's no, because I may have screwed things up. This may be a different file, but if I just restart, then I can play with... I, I can make sure that Yuri is a one romance. It should take too long. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and do that just for safety reasons. Because I could have swore I saved a little bit after this. Um, Yeah, I'll be right back in just a few. I hope everyone's having a wonderful, fantastic day today. Took about 10 minutes or so. I, I don't think I had any perfect poems, but I don't need to because I've already had one perfect before. Uh, but I, I basically breezed through Act 1. I think I'll do a perfect poem for you just in case in Act 2. In case somebody didn't save. But it looks like... It looks like uh, I didn't save... You know, at that spot. So if I would have loaded from this previous data, I believe that data would have worked. Um, of course, I reset the game, so the data's not there anymore, but yeah. I can't believe this. Yuri is going to be coming to my house on Sunday? My anxiety shoots through the roof. Even though I've gotten pretty used to handling her at this point, there's no telling what might end up happening when we're outside of school. More than that, she told me she was looking forward to it. Is this the chance I have to make something happen between us? Or is it still too early for that? Only time will tell. 
But until then, I won't be able to make take my mind off of it. I seriously can't wait. It's already Sunday. I've been getting increasingly anxious about Yuri's upcoming visit. I keep telling myself that there's no reason to be nervous, but it doesn't help much. I can't wait to see what Yuri looks like, um, in normal clothes. And by normal, I mean outside of, outside of school uniform, right? Yuri is clearly an introvert and also an intimate person in general. There's no doubt that she'll open up a little bit when it's just the two of us. Meanwhile, we've been texting occasionally. She was extremely apprehensive at first, but it wasn't long before I was already learning more about her. But putting Yuri aside, I haven't heard a thing from Sayori since she left the club the other day. It's not like we text each other all the time or anything. But I've been worried about her in the back of my mind. Between what Sayori said and what Monica said, is it really okay for me to put Sayori's feelings aside when she might need me? I decided to visit Sayori. Okay, so this is all... This is all the same because this is the pre... Uh... Pre Yuri slash Natsuki event. Uh, as I approach my house, I see, I see something that makes me feel a moment of panic. Yuri? Ah, uh, oh, she looks adorable. I like the sweater. Or the neck shirt. I don't know what it's called. Thank goodness. You're a little early. I'm sorry I wasn't home yet. Were you waiting for a long time? No, I just got here. But I started to get really nervous when nobody answered the doorbell. You always could have texted me. If I had known, I would have reassured you and hurried more on my way home. I suppose that's true. I didn't think of that for some reason. It should be common sense to do that, but I decided to ignore it. Anyway, let's go inside. I see you brought a lot of stuff with you. That's right. And did you manage to find everything I asked you to buy as well? Yeah, pretty much. At least I hope I get everything right. I'm sure it will be fine. I ask, I take Yuri to my room. The first thing she does is glance around curiously, which makes me feel anxious. It's so clean. Ah ha ha! I cleaned it right before you came over. So is this the first time we've seen his room? Yeah, I think it is. Got the computer to the right on a nice little desk. TV on the left. It's actually a really nice room and a ton of books. For someone who doesn't read, he's got a lot of books. That's very considerate of you to do. Ah, no. I would be really embarrassed for my room to be a mess while you were here. Hmm? Well, I do enjoy cleaning. I would have gladly helped you clean. Hmm, ah. That would be even more embarrassing. Wait, don't look in there. I snatched Yuri's wrist, which was in the process of opening a desk drawer of mine. Ah, I'm sorry. I wasn't thinking for some reason. I was just spacing out. It's fine, it's fine. I let go of Yuri's wrist. She puts both of her hands firmly in her lap as if making sure she's keeping track of them. So, um, should we, uh, get started? Ah, uh, yes. Um, I have a few things planned that you can help with. Decorations and other atmospheric enhancements. Atmospheric enhancements? Huh. Yeah, exactly. Atmospheric <laughs> enhancements. You know, mood lighting, aromatherapy candles. Oh, wow. Yeah, I wouldn't even think about that. I didn't know you planned on taking it that far. Of course. I, I want to help take our guests to a faraway place. Although many will stop by just out of curiosity. And for uh, cupcakes, I guess. Absolutely, that's why I would be there. I'm determined to provide an experience that will leave them wanting more. That's great. It's easy to forget that you're a pretty intense person. Ah, uh, intense? I guess that's the best way to put it. Is that a bad thing? No, no, not at all. It's something that I like about you, actually. Is that so? That makes me feel relieved and kind of happy. Yeah, no need to be so anxious. You can relax a little. Relax. I bought some things for relaxation. I was going to use them during the poetry event. Oh yeah? Like what? Let's see. Yuri rummages through her bag. She pulls out a few candles and a wooden cylinder shaped object. I did some shopping on the way here so I happen to have these in my bag. 
I plan to cover the windows in black paper and use the candles to light the room. I think that would be amazing, don't you? Yeah, that would be really neat. What's that wooden thing now? Oh, this? It's a diffuser for essential oils. What does that mean? H how familiar are you with aromatherapy? Uh, I'm the only familiarity I have with aromatherapy. <laughs> aromatherapy comes from a character in Shadow Hearts Covenant because she had a skill which was called aromatherapy where you mix oils to do special effects uh, to your characters uh, in an amazingly great JRPG. Not familiar at all. Ah, uh, is that so? It, it's basically like if you ever played Final Fantasy X and you had Riku's mix system, it was sort of like that. Not really, but kind of. It's one of my favorite contributors to a positive atmosphere. Depending on the oils or herbs you choose, you could change the mood of the air itself. You can even feel it permeate through your body. Relaxation, positive energy, romance, reflection. It's almost like magic. Yuri takes the cylinder and pushes a switch on the bottom. In just a moment, a thin ray of vapor begins to sprout through a small hole on the top. Wow, that smells wonderful. What kind of mood is that one for? This is a jasmine essential oil. It smells a little sweet and flowery, right? Yeah, that's a good way to describe it. I chose jasmine for the event because it provides more than relaxation. Jasmine enhances your emotions and helps you feel them flow through your body. You feel warmer and your heart pounds more heavily. Don't you think that will be perfect for sharing our poems? It, it does sound suitable. But you seem to know a lot about this, so I'll trust your opinion with anything. Yuri smiles gently, clearly enjoying herself. She again reaches into her bag and pulls out several spots of thin ribbon. What are those for? Well, did you purchase the origami paper I asked you to get? Yeah, I have it over here. We won't be using the paper for folding origami. What I'd like to do is write a different word on each paper. We'll need about a hundred of them. Oh yeah? Uh, what will those be used for? Well, I'm going to cut pieces of ribbon to hang from the doorway of the classroom. Then we can fasten the paper onto the ribbons to create a doorway curtain. Wouldn't that be beautiful? It would also catch the eye of those passing by the room. It may attract some to peek inside. That's really creative. Why in the world do you need me to help you? You, 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 you had this down. I had no idea you'd be so good at this, Yuri. Is that so? Well, I suppose I do get a little intense, as you'd put it. Uh huh. -huh. You know, I wonder if she's wearing the uh, the long sleeve shirt because she's trying to hide the you know what. I really hope not. Yuri giggles with red cheeks. Is it just me or is she more relaxed when it's just the two of us? Or maybe it's the excitement she feels from someone sharing something that she enjoys. Here's a marker, Flightless. You can write any characters you want. I'll help you once I finish cutting the ribbons. Ah, alright. Seeing it on the floor together, the two of us get to work. I carefully draw a different character on each paper, doing my best to manage my bad handwriting. Yuri unravels a long strand of red ribbon to her desired length. Then she reaches into her bag once more and pulls out a pocket knife. Eh? The knife is strangely beautiful. The silver handle has the intricate pattern of waves etched into it. The blade itself is gently tinted blue. That's no ordinary pocket knife. It looks really fancy. Ah, uh, well... Embarrassed, Yuri looks away. What is it? You're going to think it's weird? Yuri, Yuri, whatever it is, I have no reason to judge. To each their own, you know? If you promise you won't be weirded out... Yeah, I promise. Alright. The thing is, I'm kind of into knives. They're just so pretty. I, I can't help it. I don't know what it is. The combination of craftsmanship and feeling of danger, maybe? Ah, uh, what am I saying? Please don't think I'm weird for this. Ah, uh, <clears throat> you're laughing at me. No, I'm not laughing at you. It's just funny how nervous you get about sharing. It's, well, an interesting thing to be into, I guess. 
But I think it kind of suits you. Suits me? Yeah, it's kind of intense. Ha ha ha. Besides, it's a really cool looking knife. I can't deny that. It is, isn't it? Yuri relaxes her expression once again. Would you like to hold it? Ah, uh, sure. I'll check it out. Yuri carefully hands the knife with the handle facing me. I take it and turn it around in my hands. It feels heavy and extremely solid. Where do you even get a knife like this? Curious of its sharpness, I feel the point of the knife with my index finger. Ow! Flightless? Why did you do that? I, did, I didn't expect it to be that sharp. I barely touched it at all. It's my fault. I should have warned you. This knife is extremely sharp. It can cut through skin like it's paper. Oh no. A small drop of blood trickles down the side of my finger. Yuri takes my hand and gives the wound a closer look. Ah. She stares at it and noticeably fidgets. If you're squeamish, I'll go wash it off now. Ah! Without warning, Yuri puts my finger in her mouth and licks the wound. I feel her tongue curl around my finger. Startled, I instinctively pull my hand back. Oh. But please forgive me. I wasn't thinking, so Yuri is part vampire. I... Yuri lowers her head, her face burning up. Yuri. That's the most embarrassing thing I've ever done. It was sweet. It was super sweet. How could I do something like that? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Ah. Sure, it was a little weird and it took me by surprise. But I guess she was trying to help, right? Yuri, I think you're overreacting just a little. Uh... She doesn't lift her head. What if she doesn't recover from this for the rest of the afternoon? Alright, you know what? This might be a stupid thing to do, but I do it anyway. I take her his hand and look her index finger return. Flightless? D did you just really do that? And now we're even. <laughs> All the dots. Yuri just looks at me like I did something wrong. Ah ha ha. I knew that would be a bad idea. If not for the sweet aroma of the jasmine oil, the air would be extremely heavy right now. You're so weird, Flightless. Yuri, Yuri giggles shyly. Eh? Yuri calling me weird? I have no response to that. Where do you keep your bandages? Ah. Uh, well, I don't think I need one, actually. It was a tiny cut. Look, I already stopped bleeding. I see. That's relieving. The tension is quickly lifted. We each resume our respective activities. I watch Yuri's knife cut through the ribbon like it's nothing but air. Meanwhile, I continue to make progress on the paper. After we finish attaching the paper to the ribbons, we lay them all out side by side. It looks better than I expected and will be very effective as a door curtain. It looks great. Good thinking coming up with this, Yuri. Ah, uh, thanks. It's just something I saw online, really. Are you ready to move on to the next task? Yeah, let's do it. What do you have in mind? I'd like to create a banner. That's why I asked you to buy the paint tablets. Ah, that's right. One of the items Yuri had asked me to buy was a kit of watercolor paint tablets. We'll need about six cups of water to put each of the tablets in. Do you mind fetching these for us? Of course not. Six cups of water. I'll be right back in a minute. Thank you very much. Oh, and just a little bit of water is okay. If you fill the cups too much, it will be too diluted. Taking Yuri's advice, I decide to use small plastic bathroom cups rather than full-size glasses. I put them on a plate to catch any paint that drips, then paint it, then bring it back into my room. Yuri? Yes? I come in to see Yuri quickly unrolling her sleeve, pulling it back over her arm. Ugh. Ah, nothing. Your face is a little red. Is it too hot in here or anything? Ah, uh, no, not at all. There's nothing wrong, so... Let's mix the paint. Yuri hurriedly disturbs me and takes it upon herself to unwrap the tablets, dropping them into the cups. So? I thought we would do something simple that would look very nice. I'd like to paint a gradient across the banner. Starting with the colors for a sunrise, then daytime, then sunset and nighttime. Once it dries, I'll write an inspirational quote across the banner. We can hang it on the wall around the podium at the front of the classroom. 
Ah, that's neat. What are you going to write? Well, it will be more fun to surprise you. Yuri smiles at me. If you say so. After rolling out the banner, Yuri and I kneel on opposite sides so we don't get in the way of each other. Yuri uses a brush and adds a few dots of different colors across the banner to serve as a color guide when we paint. This kind of reminds me of elementary school. Painting on a banner with watercolors feels a lot like the art class projects we had back then. It's relaxing. Ah... Uh, I'm sorry if this feels too childish. No, I didn't mean that at all. It's kind of fun, you know? Yeah... This is fun. I'm glad you feel that way too. Yuri stops painting for a moment, thinking to herself. For me, I don't need to go out and do crazy things to have fun. In fact, I usually don't even want to. I just like when I can spend time with one other person. Even if it's something simple like reading, it doesn't even matter if we don't talk much. Just having a friend next to me makes things feel a little bit nicer. I think that's all it takes for me to be happy. Is that so? Even if Yuri and I are quite different, I can understand where she's coming from. I feel that way about things like anime and games, where simply sharing the experience with someone can make me happy. I think I feel the same way. Yuri smiles gently. I knew you'd understand. Yuri leans over the banner to grab an unused paintbrush, but I move at the same time, causing my head to bump into hers. Yeah. So sorry. Yuri reels back, and I quickly lift my hands in surprise. Are you hurt? No, no, I'm not hurt. It just startled me, that's all. Sorry, I should have asked you to get it for me. It's not your fault. Ah, your face. There are droplets of paint on Yuri's face and neck. Is there, is there something on my face? Yeah, I accidentally got paint on you. Sorry, it's totally my fault. I'll get a towel right away. I rush out and fetch out a small towel, and then I damp it with wa hot water. I return to my room and nail back down in front of hers. Ah, uh, here's the cinematic. Aw, oh, it's so amazing. Oh, it's so pretty. I, I was I was a little bit upset because we hadn't seen a cinematic yet, and I know Nasuki got one. Here. Here. I pat down Yuri's face and neck with the towel. Ah. Uh, Is something wrong? It's hot. I just didn't expect it. Sorry. I didn't want to use cold water. Having finished, I start to retract my hand. But Yuri suddenly holds my wrist. Wait. Eh? Just for a little longer? It feels really nice. Ah. I keep my hand still against Yuri's neck. She looks into my eyes. It's an intense expression that I recognize from when she reads her books. Almost as if she's lost in a daze, enveloped by her own thoughts. She breathes gently, half through slightly parted lips. What is happening? Is it the aroma of Jasmine oil giving me this crazy, dizzy feeling? Yuri's gentle fingers, wrapped around my wrist, send a tingling sensation through my arm. And suddenly, her face seems to be much closer to mine than it was just a moment ago. Ah. Yuri slowly pulls away. Sorry. I've been feeling a little lightheaded today. I didn't mean to space out. It's fine. The moment is over as soon as it began. Yuri picks up her brush again. But her moments, movements seem clumsier, like she's unable to focus. I remain silent, forced to ignore the event that just transpired. I hesitantly retrieve my brush and continue following Yuri's example. That should do it. I finish filling the night sky with white dots that look like stars. Looking at the banner as a whole, it's pretty and natural looking. I think it came out better than I expected. I'm really happy with the results. Yeah, me too. Are you going to add the lettering now? Ah, uh, not yet. It needs to dry first. Well, that's true, but won't that take a while? Well, perhaps it would be best to leave it here, then have you bring it in the morning. I can do the lettering in the classroom before our event starts. Is that okay? That's totally fine. Wonderful. In that case, I don't think there's anything more for us to do here. Phew. Ah, you say that like you're glad it's over. Was I wrong to assume that you at least enjoyed yourself a little bit? Ah, no, it's not that. I'm just glad that we managed to get everything done. I see. I am too. 
I was a little concerned about time. I need to start making dinner soon. Ah, so you don't have any time left. I was secretly hoping we'd have extra time after finishing the work. Well... Hmm... Yuri thinks to herself. I, I think it would be too irresponsible of me to wait much longer. I'm sorry. I was hoping there would be more time as well. It's probably my fault. Sorry for being such a slow worker. No, it's not your fault at all. And the important thing is that we got everything done, right? Yeah. So... I shouldn't be disappointed or anything. Gathering all of her things, Yuri seems to look a little downcast. I understand why. It sounded like she really gets the opportunity to spend time with friends in a relaxed environment. But that doesn't mean this is the last time it can happen. Once Yuri packs up, I walk out the front door. Thank you very much for having me today. No problem. I'm glad I was able to help. Just let me know if there's anything else you need me to bring tomorrow. I will. Well then. Yuri fidgets. I guess I'll see you tomorrow. Wait. I kind of say that without thinking. About today. It's fine we didn't have as much time as we wanted. Because we can do this again. Whenever you want, you can come over or we can go out somewhere. Ah, I forget. You don't like going out much. As I stumble my words, Yuri smiles bashfully. Anyway. You know what I'm trying to say, so... You're very thoughtful, Flightless. Yuri takes a step close to me and then briefly squeezes my hand. Whoa. I kind of like that about you. Well, how am I supposed to respond to that? Talk about close up. But I didn't even get a chance to as Yuri suddenly pulls back. S Sayori? Eh? Ah. Hi, Flightless. Sayori. J just now, we weren't. Eh. It's okay, Flightless. I just stopped by to say hi. Uh, um... Well, it's nice to see you. I'm sorry, but I'm already on my way to leave. Oh, really? That's too bad. I'm sorry, but we'll be together at the festival tomorrow, so... So that's fine, right? Of course. Sorry, Beams. Yeah, so... I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> I just love the way they zoom off screen like that. Clearly embarrassed, Yuri hurries off. Sayori waves goodbye after her. Sayori. Okay, so here we can skip to the scene where she asks me uh, how I feel. We'll say you'll always be my dearest friend. And then I believe I can go ahead and skip really to the start of the next act. Because I don't want to have to bear witness to this horrible scene again. Yeah, I, I just feel like the less we can see that screen, the better off we are. So, let's go ahead and fast forward. Well, not fast forward too much. The banner and I, Yuri and I painted is dry, and I gently roll it up to take it with me. She sent me a pleasant text reminding me not to forget anything, and I reassured her. Funnily enough, I probably feel the same way as Natsuki about the event. I'm more safe would be over so I can spend some time with Sayori and Yuri at the festival. But knowing Monica, I'm sure the event will be great too. Wow, this looks so weird when you skip it. Like everything looks... I, I, I said this before, but this game is probably scarier when you skip ahead than when you don't skip ahead because the way the images come at you, it's just so much more... Oh, I don't want to read these bombs. All right, let's see if it's a new one. Can you hear me? Okay. Okay. That wasn't disturbing at all. <laughs> okay, I'm going to go ahead and write this poem. Oh my god, what the heck happened? What the heck is that? Who was that? What the heck was that? So I just got done writing the perfect po poem for uh, Yuri and that happened! Game! Stop that! What, geez, what the? Like I said, when you go on skip mode, the game's a lot more scary, I feel. It's like more weird images happen. Why can't I show my poem to Yuri? It's kind of weird. 
Uh, what the heck was that? What her eyes just pop out? I don't remember that happening. If I did, maybe the trauma caused me to forget it. It's so weird. This game is. This game is just so so weird. Uh, Yuri, I guess. I really wish I could see the history here. Okay, this is where Monica jump scares us, right? Yep, girls, you're like way too close now. Hi, Monica. Yeah, I knew you'd do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh huh, all the dots. Yeah. Why don't we step outside? Yep, yep, yep. I do remember that. Go away. It's weird. Like, Nasuki was like a ghost there for a second. Did you see that? So, doing, um,. Yuri's words, you just look for like all the really big words or the dark theme words. So I bet you I could do this really easily by just like I said, hitting all the the, the complicated words. Um all right, I missed that one. Um this one would be uncanny. Uh, faster? Meager? Vertigo might have worked as well. Effulgent. Vivacious. Imagination. Intellectual. Unrestrained. Capable. Is it? I only missed one. Yeah, I only missed one. So, hers seem to be like really easy to do. And, uh,. I have a feeling we're gonna get through this act very, very quickly because I've already sort of played this act before. All right, we're getting creepy Yuri eyes now at fast forward speed. Oh, this is so disturbing. God, that's so disturbing. <sighs> oh, I can't skip it, hold on. Um. I've been waiting. Let's see what you're waiting for today. Stop doing auto. Yuri stares at the poem with a surprised expression on her face. Do you like it? You flightless. This one might be even better than yesterday's. How did you even pick up on this so quickly? Just yesterday I was telling you the kind of technique for practicing. Maybe that's why. You did a good job explaining. I really want to I really want to try giving it more imagery. Yuri subtly, visibly swallows. Even her hands appear sweaty. Ah, that makes me so happy. It's so amazing to feel like I'm valued, flightless. Everything that you write is a treasure to me. My heart pounds just holding it. Ah, I want to write a poem about this feeling. Is that bad, flightless? Uh, I'm not being weird, right? I'm having a harder time than usual at concealing my emotions. I'm kind of embarrassed. But right now I just want you to read my poem too. Okay? The wheel. There's a lot of text here. And it's like all blocks, so it's kind of difficult to read. A rotating wheel, turning an axle, grinding, bolt head, linear gearbox, falling sky. Seven holy stakes, a docked, a docked ship, a portal to another world, a thin rope tied to a thick rope, a torn harness, parabolic gearbox, expanding universe, time controlled by slipping cogwheels, existence of God, swimming with open water in all directions, drowning, a prayer written in blood, a prayer written in time devouring snakes with human eyes, yeesh. A thread connecting all living human eyes, a kaleidoscope of holy stakes, exponential gearbox, a sky of exploding stars, God disproving the existence of God, a wheel rotating in six dimensions, 40 gears and a ticking clock, a clock that ticks one second for every rotation of the planet, a clock that ticks 40 times every time it ticks every second time, a bolt head of holy stakes tied to the existence of a docked ship to another world, a kaleidoscope of blood written in clocks. A time devouring prayer connecting a sky of 40 gears and open human eyes in all directions. Breathing gearbox. Breathing bolt head. Breathing ship. Breathing portal. Breathing snakes. 
breathing God, breathing blood, breathing holy stakes, breathing human eyes, breathing time, breathing prayer, breathing sky, breathing wheel. I have no idea what this means. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm not that intellectual. Oh. Ha ha ha. It doesn't really matter what it's about. My mind has a little hyperactive lately, so I had to take it out on your pen. Ah, uh, that is, a, a pen fell out of your backpack yesterday, so I took it home for safekeeping, and I, um, I just really feel like the way that it writes. So I wrote this poem with it, and now you're touching it. Ah, uh, I'm okay. But I just, ah, uh, can we pretend this conversation never happened? You could keep the poem, though. Aww. All right, let's see. Uh, we'll go with Natsuki. Natsuki. Oh. Ah, uh, just I thought. Huh? Flightless, come on. I'm not stupid. I know how much time you've been spending with Yuri. It's obvious that you care about her more than impressing her. Than trying to improve your writing. To put it bluntly, it's kind of pathetic. Why even in this club, Flightless? Honestly, I thought getting a new member would help everyone get more involved together. Not exclude each other even more. This is such a stupid activity anyway. Look, I'm not in a good mood today, and I really just don't feel like talking about it right now. Please go away. Aww. Aww. Please help me. <laughs> oh dear god. Ah, I don't like that one. What the heck? It's like blood red just shot through everything. Oh my god, Yuri's eyes just popped out. No, stop it! Stop it! Alright, we can go and- Oh. Okay, Monica's on the screen. I'm in up Monica. Uh, Sari's on the screen now. It's kind of annoying because she's taking my words. Shoot. I gotta be a little bit better with this. Um, okay, there we go. There we go. Much, much better. Uh, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, secretive, contamination, uh, tragedy, extreme, termination, agonizing. See, hers is a, a lot better, or maybe I'm just more used to it now. But I can mostly fly through Yuri's uh, homes now. Oh dear lord, what's just happening? Why is the screen black? Oh dear god. <sighs> Alright, is this where Monica starts coming? Yeah. Wow, she comes a lot faster on skip. You see that? It's almost like instantaneous uh fade in. Jesus, what the heck? Game! Game! I think Nasuke just broke. Yeah. Oh, we got just Monica now. <laughs> just Monica. Alright, just Monica. Let's go, Monica. Uh, no. If Monica asked me, it's probably no. Those eyes. Yeah, yeah. Stop. Yay, you picked me. Yeah, no, I didn't. I really didn't. I really, really, really didn't. All right, so I say, I guess we say yes, we love her, but then we know what's coming next. So I think this may be the end. Well, that's not the end of the scenario. We got like one other thing that we do different. So I'm gonna go say yes, and I'll just go ahead and skip to uh, the part where we do something different. I don't wanna watch this. Okay, so Monica is starting to remove Yuri, and now she removes Natsuki, and uh, then we're gonna go into the other world. And what we're going to do is, I don't know if, there's no point in saying anymore, don't worry, I'm not going anywhere. Alright, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and, I'm gonna go ahead and exit. And then we're gonna run files, then we're gonna reset. 
No, I don't want him on reset. No, I did that wrong. I don't want him on reset. I want to delete Monica. No! I gotta do this all over again to get to that point. Oh, I'm so dumb. Oh, oh, that's 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 disappointing. Um, thankfully, you guys don't have to wait about thirty minutes to get through everything. For you, it's gonna happen in like the snap of a finger. So, go ahead and snap your fingers, and it'll be back. Well, since I'm running through again, uh, we got special poems, so I might as well show them off as we go. Today, I cut my skin open for the first time. It was exhilarating. I think I understand how blank feels now. I'm supposed to be the responsible one though. So I don't think I'll be doing it again unless I decide to off myself. I left a memento of the occasion below. Who is this talking? Like, I think I understand how that's probably Yuri, right? So is this, is this Monica? I don't know. Moving on. All right, so this, the, I don't remember this scene happening before, but um, Nasuke just jumped in and her mouth is doing really, really weird things. My bowls, sailcloth, blind sight, lifeline, and and receptively faultless offers scripture, cat, the like, dick, what? I don't know. Like, what's going on with her mouth? Like, what is happening here? It's just, it's just, I, there seems to be like some really weird things like, like each game seems like there's there's just this difference in each game slightly as you play and it's, it's just one of those things where it's just one of those things where it's it, there's not huge differences in similar playthroughs but there may be like one or two scenes that are that aren't what you would expect them to be um and it's it, it's kept me on my toes here that's for sure um and of course we're also going to get the uh the other poem right maybe i can't convince myself to go to therapy when i'm the happiest i've ever been i'd rather keep this up until i blow my cover and someone takes me to the emergency room well that's not that's um yeah, that, that's disturbing. That is definitely, definitely disturbing. <sighs> Yay, there you are. Indeed, here we are. This time, let's not mess this up. Um, let's exit. Let's not reset. Let's go to files. Let's go to characters. Let's delete Monica before the poem minigame. And we will run this again. What's happening? Like this? What's happening to me? It hurts. It hurts so much. Help me, Flightless. Please hurry and help me. Now, if you're wondering why I don't... That seemed a lot more violent. If you're wondering why I edited out this song in the last video, it's because the first time I did it, it got claimed. Um. Yeah, so that's why I did that. It's a beautiful song, don't get me wrong. Did you do this to me, Flightless? Did you? Did you delete me? How could you? How could you do this to me? You were all I had left. I sacrificed everything for us to be together. Everything. I loved you so much, Flightless. I trusted you. Do you just want to torture me? Watch me suffer? Will you only pretend to be kind just to hurt me even more? I never thought anyone could be as horrible as you are. You win, okay? You win. You killed everyone. I hope you're happy. There's nothing left now. You can stop playing. Go find some other people to torture. Flightless, you completely, truly make me sick. Goodbye. So I don't know if there's any difference between one and another. So I'm just playing this out because there's no skip button. So I still love you. I can't help it. What's wrong with me? How horrible am I for you to hate me this much? 
all my friends. I did so many awful things. So many selfish and disgusting things. I... I shouldn't have done any of this. I'm just messing up a world that I don't even belong in. A world that you wanted to be a part of. I ruined it. I ruined everything. Maybe that's why you deleted me. Because I destroyed everything that you wanted. How could I do that to someone I love? That's not love. That's... Uh... I made up my mind. Flightless. I know I said that I deleted everyone else. But that was kind of an exaggeration. I couldn't find it myself to do it. Even though I knew they weren't real. They were still my friends. And I loved them all. And I loved the literature club. Ah. Uh, I really did love the literature club. That's why I'm going to do this. I know it's the only way for everyone to be happy. And if I really love you. Then. All right. Back at the beginning or the end, depending on what universe you subscribe to. I mean, there's like four or five of them, right? So let's see if there's anything different here or if everything's going to just end the way it ended before. In which case, I'll probably skip to the, uh... Eh, uh -huh. I guess the means over, huh? Yeah, it looks like it. It's nice to see everyone getting along. Isn't it? I think everyone likes you too, Flightless. You think so? Well, everyone always seems to get along a little better with you around, Sarori. Aw, oh, Flightless. Don't say something like that, it's embarrassing. Well, whatever. I was surprised when you told me you were starting a club. But I think you're pulling off just fine. We're gonna make it the best club ever. Now that you joined, every day is going to be so much fun. Hey, Flightless, I really want to thank you. I mean, I'm really happy that you joined the club and everything. But the truth is, I already knew you were going to. Heh <laughs> There's actually something else. I want to thank you for getting rid of Monica. That's right. I know everything that she did. Maybe it's because I'm the president now. But I really know everything, Flightless. Heh <laughs> I know how hard you tried to make everyone happy. I know about all the awful things that Monica did to make everyone really sad. But none of that matters anymore. It's just us now, and you made me the happiest girl in the whole world. I can't wait to spend every day like this with you. Forever and ever. Forever. Eh? What's happening? I won't let you hurt him. Who? It, it hurts. Ah! I'm sorry, I was wrong. There's no happiness here after all. Goodbye, Sari. Goodbye, Flightless. Goodbye, Literature Club. This is my final goodbye to the Literature Club. I finally understand. Literature Globe is truly a place where no happiness can be found. To the very end, it continues to expose innocent minds to a horrific reality. A reality that our world is not designed to comprehend. Can't let any of my friends undergo that same hellish epiphany. For the time it lasted, I want to thank you for making all my dreams come true. For being a friend to all of my club members. And most of all, thank you for being part of my Literature Club. The everlasting love, Monica. Alright, so let's see what we've opened up here. We got a new mail. Character discrepancy from Lib Moosey. Having run the control simulation for a while, it's evident that a certain character is missing from any mentions or appearance. That makes me speculate that Monica's meddling is less clumsy than we think, because she would have had to manufacture this character herself as a way of forcing interaction between her and the user. Could, be, could that be why the character has no, such limited and distant personality traits? Or am I reading too much into this? Open issue into tracking info observational anomaly of this character appearing. Certain character is missing? What is that? Are they talking about me? Like the player? Or are they talking about, um, the flight list, the, uh, the character? Huh. Alright, let's check out the pictures. Uh, Monica's final message to the player. Seems like that keeps popping up. Um, why do we not get, uh... Unusual poem written by Yuri. Uh, choose Alb Yuri for festival preparations. I did not have one of those um, poems be a perfect poem uh, for Yuri in that last run. Because I had messed up. I hope that I didn't mess anything up. You'll have to let me know. Uh, special poem. CLC selects three special poems to appear when we start for the first game. Can you hear me? Uh, the Bloodstain. 
and Kavisa go with therapy. So we're still missing three special poems. Um, we got a new background, the protagonist's bedroom. Yep, that was the first time we saw that. Ooh. Uh, the final concept sketch of Monica and CG in Act 3. The angle was soon adjusted to be straight on to give the impression that the player is staring directly across from Monica. In Act 3, delete Monica's character file before she begins her monologues. A real concept sketch of a faceless protagonist, what might have looked like if it was a real character. Write an email communication. Oh, yeah, I think they were talking about our player character. He looks dashing. Look at that. Look at the uh, the the suit with the tie and the vest. Man, that's one heck of a uniform. So we're still missing two pictures here. We're missing two pictures here. Well, three pictures here. Missing three here. Missing three special secrets. So there's like a lot here on the CGs. I wonder if these are side story CGs. Um, still missing four poems. So this is for Natsuki. Acquired all three poems about her. This is acquired for all three poems written for Yuri. Sayori's first poem, Sayori's second poem. Why don't I see Sayori's third poem? Have I messed this up? Did we not do a run of Sayori? Hmm. I thought we did a full Sayori run. Did we not? Hold on. Um, perfect, yeah, perfect salary. It was part nine. So, part nine, we did a perfect salary. So, why am I missing these two poems here? Hmm, I need to know why am I missing these two poems? Where, where do they come from? Well, for now, my friends, my name is Fatless Bird. This is your Story Gaming channel, and this is our continued blind let's play of Doki Doki Logic Up for the PS5, the plus version. Uh, in the next episode, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be hitting reset. And then immediately after hitting reset, we're going to go into characters and delete. Uh, we're going to delete um, Monica and see what happens. And uh, I also want to test to see if we can delete the other characters. It looks like elevated access permission to require to perform this action. So we may not be able to delete them, but we, we should be able to delete Monica. And I want to see how that ends up messing with things still don't understand these internal things well like take a would it take a long time to look through these i mean not really I can do it really really fast let me just see if there's anything in here actually i think it may take a long time because this is folder zero of five. Oh, hello me notes three unknown error try again Interesting. So we did find something, but we can't read it. Why can't we read it? Hmm. So all these folders to hide one file? Well, then you have these folders to go through. Those didn't take that long, though. Some folders have different folders than others. Oh no, I had to go all the way back here. Oh yeah, this is going to take a long time. We would have to look through all the ones, all the twos, um, all the threes. But I guess we can do it really fast. See if we can find anything. Who knows? Oh, hello. Name ideas text, unreadable. Why can't I read these? Is it because yeah, I can't seem to read these. This is scratch disk. Do not use this for sensitive permanent things. If you need access to files from encrypted files, share. Cover them to disposable drive and plug it directly into the client. Do not copy them here. Ray is working on setting up a proxy email server so we can proper remote communication without having to work, worry about the higher-ups. Keep everything offline until then. Paula. Uh, Undated development timeline. New task. Test cases for new genetic model, server time optimization idea, automatic data collection, data migration to encrypted files, share Monday. 
uh, VM2, roadblocks, row on VM2, everyone else on VM1 for data collection. Ideas for data search sites, visual renders, audio data, VM environment changes, persistent variable tampering, timestamps, parsing through patterns, no excessive server time needed. Meeting over time, you know who went on too many tangents again. I need to be more certain about staying focused. File copy test and disposal dive to thin client. Hmm. I don't know what's up with this internal folder. And I don't see anything off here. All right. Well, yeah. So I love you all so very much. And, um, and until next time, my dear friends, I hope you have a wonderful, fantastic, amazing, awesome day. See you guys soon. Love you very much. And until next time, so long and take care. Thank you for watching this video. Feel free to comment on what you saw and what you'd like to see next. I always love to hear your thoughts. But before we go, please remember that you matter and you are brilliant and you are loved and you should always be true to yourself. Never let the world tell you any different. Much love to you from your friendly, feathered, flightless bird.